Hello, hello, and welcome to episode 3. Um, we are now in sector 3 of the Mantis homeworld at the bottom here. Yeah, these are the people that like to invade uh, big, nasty, you know, grasshoppers, basically. Um, I want to see what's around us in terms of jumping ability, because uh, if we, if like, if you upgrade now, jump here, and there's a store here, you've kind of just wasted that ability to go to the store. Heal yourself up buy some new interesting things so at this point I think I'm gonna wait try and gather as much straps um, scrap as possible and then jump so all those four connected that's connected that's connected that's connected that's connected so even any way we go we're gonna to get to the exit so that's good we don't have to worry too much about where we're going always plan ahead always never be that twat that's left in the open well open waters open space a rebel captain appears on the screen oh we found a rebel. I thought we also had this. Oh, come on, come on! I thought we had been doomed to blackwater us backwater assignments. This is my chance to get back in the command's good graces. Charge the weapons. Continue. Oh, that's a heavy laser. Uh, a heavy laser is um, a laser that is heavy. It does like multiple damage. Like um, when you, if my burst laser hits a system, it does one damage. I think a heavy laser is two or three. So even if you've got like, you know, the, for instance, my engine's got two levels, it will take both of them out immediately instead of just one like mine would do. But I think he only shoots one or maybe two, depending on the laser, and while well, I shoot three ones. So he shoots one, two or two twos, I shoot three ones. If that makes any sense whatsoever. Luckily, his shield is still going. I am pulse and then, oh, so this little star thing in the back here, as shown by this danger you're close to a pulsar um periodic waves of electromagnetic energy will disrupt your systems yes yeah, so this will come out and it's like an iron thing it will randomly hit your systems and take them offline for like five seconds or so it's a pain in the ass and we missed that one fantastic uh well time it so my pike beam can so my shields are down for three whole moments and so is my doors i don't give a shit doors oh his shields are down this is fantastic <laughs> thank you uh, hit the oh, so the as you can see when I'm placing my pike beam the yellow system the the, the rooms that are yellow are basically the ones I'm going to hit so you want to hit as many as possible as central as possible the small central the I think more damage but I'm not entirely sure that could be completely wrong but that's why I think about it that's it take those weapons out yeah we really don't need so stinking weapons this is good. See, my shields are still out. This is that's just why I can be so damn and painful. Except the bribe, nah, because missiles, I don't really use them now. Drones, no, and sh it's shit scrap, to be honest. We should get much more. Oh, and this piping should just finish it off. Yeah! 27 and 1 fuel, that's, more, that's better, way better. 120 scrap, that's good. We still need to repair, so that's going to take a chunk out of ours. I can't move yet because um, our, sister, our things are down. Yeah, you have to wait to the FTL drive. You can abandon a fight, uh, depending on how good your um, thing is. You can. Let's jump out of here. Here's the thing. You want to... This Iron Blast will continue into the next zone. So you want to jump at the last like moment you can. So oh, let's jump now. Because that's still going to be there. Yeah, that's still going to be there. So as you can see, look, my shields are still trying to repair, and I'm about to get hit. Ooh. Come on, shields, there you go. Oh, now I'm in the yellow because I got hit by that bloody thing. Oh, and a missile. Oh, missed. Fantastic. Let's take that missile out. Because I can deal with um, this um, beam thing, because again, it can't get through my shields. But missiles can. So let's take out the... This. Oh, look at that. All of them. Yeah, that's a good little thing. Yeah, F to FTL delayed as well. He's really trying to get away too. Luckily, his um, cockpit's out. Yep, yeah, there you go. Oh, it's so satisfying. It's so satisfying watching them explode. Oh, a distress. Yeah, why not? Let's go for it. These can give you some nice rewards, but they're more deadly. Oh, carefully cut the shit out. Sorry, I should have read all that first. 
she'd go back and pause so you could have easily read it. But yeah, you just ba it's basically blue icons basically allow you to do some good, basically. Come on, I want to find a ship. We've got so much scrap right now. We can really do some real stuff to our ship. Oh, this beacon comes served as a military place for local sheriff. It seems that you can find crew willing to fight for your ship here for a price. These are the Mantis. Um, he's, she's much cheaper. Yeah, there you go. There you go, Mantis. Um, is there a way to... Sh oh, yeah, you can see by the... Um, hang on. I'm, t I'm saying it all to my, in my head. Save current view. Yeah, so now I, she is now in there. So I get 20%. Yes, fantastic. If I go to here... There you go. Um, so yeah, humans' skills improve slightly faster, so they're, they're the best in terms of crewmates because they get... Um, they, they, they're they better. They, they, their skills improve. Beth. Uh, inflict 1.5 times damage in combat move faster and half of bear speed. Yeah, so she's terrible at repairing things, so she's 50% slower than everyone else, but she does 50% more damage. I thought, it was, yeah, I thought it was 25%, 50%, but one moves her slightly bit faster. So that's the Mantis, basically. Giant, as you can see, I like to call them giant grasshoppers. Store! Yes! Thank God, I can finally get, cure my anxiety from all this orange up here I'm seeing. Fix all, 22. Oh, that's actually quite good. And that you can buy some more people if you want. Uh, yes, it's a slave trade. Um, oh yeah, page two. Oh, so you've got systems, drone control, cloaking, backup battery. Oh, cloaking. Hang on, can I sell something? <gasps> yes! <laughs> so I can cloak now. Um... Ah, oh, I should have looked at these actually. So yeah, that's required power two shots per charge, two normal breach, low breach. Okay, so I was just reading. They're okay, not brilliant. I could sell the Artemis because I don't really use that anymore. Firebomb, uh, self teleport explosive designed to damage crew members. Again, if you're if you're doing uh, so, the difference between when you invade, like teleport onto a ship and kill the crew, um, you get more scrap, you get way more stuff. So it's more risky because you're risking your crew. But you can get certain things like a self-healing bomb and a fire bomb, or just a whole breach bomb. Basically, something that can target people. You can also get a beam that targets life forms instead of damaging ships. But you do run the risk of risking your own people, obviously. You know, I can send my my Beth, you know, and Davion, whatever his name is, onto the ship and try and kill their crew. However, if they get on my crew and I, they die, that's it, they're, they're gone. However, when you win and you kill their crew, you gain so much stuff. Like, you gain more scrap, like, you know, possibly even two times the amount of scrap. Your stuff, like all their missiles, all their fuel, you gain a lot of stuff instead of just trying to scavenge it from the debris. Um, but it's riskier, so you, you can fight that risk reward factor if you really want to. Um, I've done it before, I've never won like that though, because it's too... Uh, when you get to near the end of the games where they're, they've got bigger ships, more crew, like you're fighting crews of like six people in there, like how you would have like, you know, when I say you can have eight crew members, they sometimes have like eight crew members near the end, and especially the boss battle, the boss battle is few, uh, they've got a huge ship. Oh yeah, the reason we want to upgrade as well, not only because you'll be fighting bigger ships, is because of the boss. You will fight a boss at the end, and that bo and it's a free tier boss, uh, free stages I should say. You know when you beat a boss, um, get like health down, and it, it transforms into the second stage. It, go it goes into three stages. It's the, one of the toughest fights you'll ever face in, in games. They're difficult, as long as you've got a plan. Um, appears to be deactivated. Attempt to download the ship's data stores. Risk activating it. Okay, so should we risk it? Risk it for a biscuit? We're still only 19, we could do much better. Oh, 21. Yeah, because again, this is just luck based. I could have easy activated and had to fight it. But you get some fuel, some scrap. Not as much scrap as I want though. Oh, and it's told us the beacons as well. The beacons, I keep thinking beacons are going. Oh, the beacons have been lit. Uh, and visit possible ship detected. Asteroid field. Ooh, asteroid fields are 
fun and not fun. Um, there's constant ash shields coming, so they'll constantly hit your shields. If you've got good shields like I have at the moment, then they're fine. Um, but sometimes it will hit at the wrong time and the laser beam will come in and hit you because they've timed it properly. A the civilian ship. Ah, Mantis military ship. And they don't have teleporters, fantastic. They've got one shield, beam and a laser. Let's do that shit, let's try to teleport. Teleport, I'm uh, not teleport, the cloak means you will they will miss everything, but your things do not charge, if I remember correctly. Oh yeah. See, this is what I mean, like, you'll wait for them to shoot, because I think I'll be fine, to be honest. Like that. See, 75% chance now. It, it shoots up. You can miss, they can miss quite a lot. If you shoot whilst you ch whilst your cloak, your cloak disappear. Um, your cloak will not disappear completely, but it will bring it down quite a lot. At level one, it will completely disappear. So let's get the shields. So pipe beam can do its fang. Come on, I want to hit. There you go. One, two, three, four, five. Whoop. There you go. It can't do any damage to me, so I'm not in any worry right now. Again, that's why I like to get into two shields. It negates a lot of ships early on in the game. Oh, lovely. 28, 2, 1. Oh, and they've given us even more stuff. Oh, yes, I'm just that lovely. Thank you. Give me all the free ship. So if I want to get another level, it would be 100, 150. Or go for, you know, a couple more of those. Or just actually just getting up the power right now so I can get, um, te um, cloaking. I always keep saying teleport. It's not teleport, it's cloaking. And I get the two levels of engines as well. Oh, it's all coming up, Luke. That's my name, by the way. <laughs> if you didn't know. So, all of them can hit the exit. Okay, so I go bam, 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 exit. If I ain't got enough time, I'll just go straight to the exit. Yeah, that's good enough for me. Always try and get as much jumps as possible. Yeah, I should have enough time. And if I don't, I'll just go straight to the exit. You detect and retrieve an escape pod floating nearby. You consider returning it to space when you learn it's Mantis. Jettison the pod prior open. Oh, this is a... I've done this one before. If you fail it, uh, I think one of your dudes die. If you get, if you if it goes really well though, you get a new member. Fuck it. Fuck no, Om's dead. Oh. Oof. Well, there goes shields, dude. Fuck. Well, Om's completely gone. Oh, that's a piss take. Oh. That's annoying. Now Beth's gonna have to be on um, shields because I, I I need shields. They're the top three are pilot, obviously, shields, weapons, engines are second, basically. Oh, I've gone down to ten percent. Oh no, that's because I've fifteen percent. I've gone down to fifteen percent now. That's really disappointing. That really is. Oh, I should just jettison it. But hey ho, it's game. You risk it. Oh, they've got a teleporter. Okay. They're coming aboard. Yeah, I just saw the door open. They've gone in. They're there. I feel like I'd be fine if I don't put them on shields. Uh, you don't really need to dodge right now. If need be, I've got a um, teleporter. Not teleporter. Again, with a teleporter, Luke. I've got... Um, dodgy stuff. Cloaking, there you go. Dodgy stuff. Come on, Luke, really. So you can see it's gone light blue here. Um, because they teleport people on, it takes a recharge. So if you teleport someone on, you can't immediately take them back out. That's why it's a huge risk. Because if your dudes get start getting destroyed, they can't come out until that's charged up again. Which is very deadly. That's why I don't fuck with teleporters in this game. Um, maybe something I have to do in the future. 
but I don't fuck with teleporters. They scare me because I feel like I'm going to lose all my crew members because I'm not paying attention enough. Because like, I'm worried about this and then I'm worried about what, what's happening on their ship. It's just too much. And I'm worried about why, why I'm shooting like this. And it just becomes a cluster. It's a fun cluster, but it's a cluster nonetheless. And this pipe we should just kill him. There you go. Killed. Dead. All the dead. Fantastic. And to the exit. Yep, and we can just jump to the next. Oh, you receive a, me a message from the small company. You're looking for some new supposed offering to prove your reactor in exchange. Well, we don't use either of those. So that's a fantastic. Yeah, but we do. Fantastic. Now we can have all of them on. <laughs> I'm not going to um, upgrade anything because I want to see what's happening in the next sector like we did last time. We're great in haul. And we've got an extra supply because we've got rid of missiles and uh, drones that we don't, we're not really using them. Uh, when I come across another place store, I'm going to sell the Artemis and try and get another weapon. Try and upgrade more weapons. I'm going to try and see if I can get another a laser for something. Basically, I can go through shields. Because uh, we've got a beam, that's fantastic. We need something more firepower uh, in order to penetrate. So I don't, I'm not a big fan of using missiles, uh, mainly because of this. Um, I just don't like using them. But hey ho, we'll see. We'll, maybe something will come, uh, come along. And it'll be nice to get another crew member actually. Crew member and weapons, that's my next goal. So, rebel controlled. Oh, this is going to be quite a nasty sector. But yeah, we're going to be sector 4. Half this sector will be halfway through. Let's go. You're very cautious in the sector. The rebels have full control and no doubt looking for you. Okay then. Right here then. That will be the end of this episode 3. Um, we'll continue in episode 4. So right here then. Have a good one.